junior at Boston University, and I'm originally from Hawaii. Um, I'm also a social studies ed major, which resonates really well with my perspective of the world. Um, so I'm gonna nerd out really quick um, and just say that social studies is so cool because these classes are interdisciplinary and they have everything to do with producing students who are actually functioning members of our society. Um, but for a long time, I didn't realize that I even cared about social studies, let alone recognize its importance. Um, I remember thinking it was a pointless subject with no real world, real world application. Um, but it's essential because it is literally an opportunity to address societal problems. It's not just knowing what happened, but taking that and using it to move society forward for better, hopefully. Um, I think part of the reason I couldn't make that connection is because many of my experiences back home were based on absorbing knowledge. Um, we were kids sitting in perfectly aligned rows and reciting our teachers' ideas back at them. Um, for kids at my school, we were taught that questioning decisions of our teachers was disruptive to the classroom environment. We were taught that teachers were there to teach and we were there to listen. We didn't know and we couldn't understand that there was such a thing as classes where student opinions mattered, not just for the hypothetical purpose of completing it completing an activity, but in the sense that our ideas and thoughts actually were taken into consideration. We had never received the respect that soon to be young adults deserved. No one cared what we thought because our school was so focused on maintaining control over us. My highlights of senior year are memories of me yelling at an administration that refused to listen. I was super involved in student council and our job was to voice concerns which we interpreted as an invitation to complain about literally everything. <laughs> um, sometimes it was valid though. One year, our school decided to implement a new tardy policy so that when a student was late to class, they'd be disciplined with an in-school suspension. Uh, we were kind of mad about that. We didn't really understand their logic behind that. We, we told them that punishing a kid for missing class by making them miss even more class didn't really make sense. Um, <laughs> But they, of course, they didn't listen to us because we were just kids. Um, and that really bothered me because my entire life, I've heard our teachers say over and over that we students had to start acting like adults because you know we're getting ready to enter the real world and we needed to be prepared. Yet here we were, students taking responsibility, trying to advocate for our opinions in an adult forum, and they weren't willing to let us speak. Um, anyway, so that's kind of how I ended up here today. My terrible high school was great motivation to ensure <laughs> I don't dismiss my future students in the same way. Um, silver lining, yeah. So, uh, I'm a very big believer in engaging kids in democracy early on. As a student, I think the most infuriating thing to hear is that your voice doesn't matter simply because you don't make the rules. And that's kind of where Generation Citizen comes in. I like to think of GC as the start of a revolution where we're challenging the way we teach traditionally boring subjects by taking hypothetical scenarios and turning them into real quantifiable action. And that is changing the way we see student potential. We're trying to get kids to channel their complaints into something more productive. We're trying to show students that their voices do matter and that if they push hard enough, they can accomplish anything. My experiences back home were all about theory and I used to make lists of all the ways that I was gonna like break the system and fight the power, um, but I thought I'd have to wait until after I left high school. And GC questions that because it operates along the lines of why wait until then? What's wrong with me taking action right now? <laughs> this sentiment isn't limited to the experiences GC provides for its students. It's the entire philosophy behind this organization. I got to practice what I preached when I testified at a Boston City Council hearing about why social studies courses are important. Um, there's actually like a movement to get rid of social studies courses and replace them with humanities. Um, which I think they were trying to kill two birds with one stone um, because they thought that reading historical literature was enough of a social studies component to focus their time on writing. Um, so I had a problem with that, obviously. Um, that was like terrifying actually. Because the way that I see it, you don't learn about history to know what happened. You learn about history because it's still happening and that's the lens you need to use when you view the modern world. And social studies can't only be about books from the past because we're like still writing them today and who knows whether they'll be significant in the future. I think my time in GC, I've seen it prove itself to be anything but expendable. This past spring, we had students in GC classes 
rally over a thousand BPS students to protest education budget cuts, <laughs> which was like so inspiring as a PJ teacher. I was like, yes. <laughs> um, but they literally made history by walking out of class to demonstrate their commitment to education. Um, GC classrooms have rewritten laws and passed bills. And when I think of GC, I remember my students who sulked in corners until Tito Jackson walked into the room as a guest speaker and they came alive asking questions and sharing ideas in ways I had never seen before. How often do you see stuff like that happen because of kids who care? If an organization like Generation Citizen existed back home, if we had any sort of class that inspired us to fight harder for what we believed in, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have let our high school get away with its rules of nonsense. But that's also why whenever I see a student's eyes light up with determination, I'm so grateful. Because here in Boston, at the center of so many revolutions, with so many resources literally at our fingertips, we've seen history repeat itself. We know the youth can make a difference, but more importantly, they know that they can make a difference.